Hello everybody, this is BSO, let's go to back again, welcome to part 24 of Let's Play Hyperdimension Neptunia. And apparently we're listening to a conversation between this guy named Ganachi or whatever, and Lady Blackheart, aka Noir. And I don't know why I'm continuing with this idiocy when it comes to the names. Quite obviously, this is Noir, but she is also Blackheart. And so is the transformation. I'm just, just like freaking Neptune. I'm just so freaking stupid. Anyway, enough about that. Now that we've got an understanding of it, let's continue listening to these people talk. And the conversation is over. Now what? Whistling in the wasteland. Is this is all about. Siegfried and Hacken are causing trouble in the station. They've taken refuge in a cave beneath the wasteland. Please, someone defeat those two delinquents. Recommended level 28. You know what? While visiting Lean Boss, Neptune has a dream about his door. Who is his door speaking with in this dream? You know what, guys? I'll tell you what. We're going to Lean Box. It's time for us to go somewhere different. Let's go to Lean Box. Hopefully, the enemies in Lean Box are not freaking killer. I'm not concerned about fighting enemies or grinding or anything like that. I just want to see the other places in this game. Now, you guys. Alrighty then, that was way too easy. Thank you for dropping some gelatins. Now please get me out of here as fast as possible. Because we're going to lean box, damn it. We may still have business in the station, but I want to see lean box. And actually, there's a reason I want to go to lean box. I shan't explain. Medieval fantasy. Let me guess, I got that trophy for finally visiting Lean Box, right? Land of Green Pastures. Lean Box. Ooh, nice place. Hello. Let us talk about the Greenheart blog. It's the blog written by the Lean Box goddess, Greenheart. We can read news about Lean Box and the goddess's daily life. You might find some useful information. Jeez. While visiting Leanbox, Neptune has a dream about his star. Who is his star speaking within this dream? Well, let us listen. Istuar? Istuar? Did you truly take a goddess down to the world below? Uh oh. Oh god, it's you! All this even after stealing you away. Tell me everything you've told her this very instant. You, the other thunder tits. Even call out to someone in Celestia. You should be aware of that the most. I did not take her down. She chose to fall of her own volition. She wishes to level justice against your crimes. It's against Celestial Province for a CPU to directly interfere with the human world for no valid reason. Unless it's a scheduled inspection or an accidental fall, such insolence is unacceptable. Each of them possess only a quarter the power of an actual goddess. They couldn't possibly travel down without your aid. No, that is incorrect. If something existed that led them to go there without my aid, it was destiny. Something beyond even my control. No, there's nothing beyond your control. You're the world's... The world's everything! It is true this tome 
contains everything in this reality. When it does not stand to reason, I have free reign over it all. It matters not whether you are human or CPU. Not a soul exists able to control everything in their lives. That was beautiful, Histoire. You may have a point. You're the most difficult variable to control of all. But, then again, you're meant to be different. You have the power to change this world, and I've the desire to do so. You do know what I'm thinking of, don't you? No, not really. No. I'm too busy, uh, uh staring. Definitely says ha 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 ha, not ha 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 ha. And hello. Oh ouchies. Ouchies. What is so ouchies? Wow, this is a nice change of scenery. Drunk or something. That's no good. If you will be upset at us, please, I'm not a body pillow for you to cuddle with. But you feel so cozy when I squeeze you. I could sleep like this anytime, anywhere. I wonder. Um, you're both awake? Okay. Sorry for kicking you out, Papa. We can try again tomorrow. What the hell is this perverted crap? <laughs> That was random as hell. <laughs> what the hell is this perverted crap? <laughs> Hello. Okay, now we get to listen to Greenheart's block. Greenheart, whose name is Vert. Vert. Greetings. Today I'd like to chat about the various accommodations Leanbox offers. I'm sure you all know, but the CPU of Leanbox is me. Greenheart. Leanbox is a land abundant with nature, the most beautiful in all game industry. I believe the word draconian is no archaic. Oh, medieval describes Leanbox best. Sure, why not? Here you can expect a comfortable life. Many come here to spend their retirement or raise children. I highly suggest coming to Leanbox. Especially if you have enough money to live a rich and comfortable life. What? So you only care about the money? Is that what you're saying, Greenheart? That's the basic rundown of my land. I'll go into more detail with my upcoming blog entries. I'll see you again in the next update. Noted. Vert. The Archbishop and the Vagilus. Following Historos' advice that the key fragments are guarded by powerful monsters, the party first heads to lean boxes to the silicon. Okay. And here we are. We gotta talk to the basilicon people about monsters, right? 
In that case, yo! <laughs> Hopefully these people are much nicer as compared to the station. So Louise, soon. I don't know how soon, just uh, soon. I am meant to spread faith and love for Lady Whiteheart throughout the world. Anyway, what did you need here? You, you guys remember Lady Whiteheart, right? I won't let any of you selfish, icy bitches. That lady. Sure, stranger. The Archbishop of Leanbox's sanctuaries. How can I assist you, girls? Yes, well, we'd like to know where to find monsters. I see. You're a tourist, then. Let me give you a detailed map where the monsters are, so you can avoid them. I was about to say, okay, um... We're looking for monsters. Why would we be touring tourists? here because I have I have no idea what monsters like here in Lee Box. They could be strong as fuck. They could be weak as fuck. I guess we're about to find that out now aren't we? Center Monster Tower. Now loading. Somewhat of a change of scenery, and this is Boss Conquest. Do do do. Na na battle! Any freaking time, sweetheart. Thank you. Huh, according to what she just said, this is gonna be an easy battle. Wow! I just killed that thing in two hits? 100 experience. Okay, this looks like this is gonna be really, really easy. I can kill an enemy like that in two hits. I wonder what the boss is gonna be like. Do 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 na na na, give me battle. Oh look, it's the bats. If this is really the best you guys got for lead box. Interesting that it took me more hits to kill the bats than it did that big ass thing. Since these battles aren't going to take me too long, I guess for the time being, skipping them is, uh, well, Pointless. So actually, I gotta stop this video, guys. So I guess that's a treasure just like right up ahead. I'll stop this video right here. Until next time, BSL out.